Hello and welcome back to another episode of Skyrim Requiem 3 VF Tweaks. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Diaries of Death. And uh, this is going to be a great episode, at least I think so. We are together with Carlos uh, the Silver here. Uh, he has jo successfully joined the Thief Skill for last time. Uh, this episode will feature a few follow up uh, tricks such as going into the Golden Glow Estate and potentially a little bit more bandit content as we're leveling up. For the time being, Carlos is not really a stealthy character, but I intend to change that relatively soon. So let me just shortly talk you through the progression. We're level two and the build will come, start coming online in around level six, seven, eight, maybe. We're okay with evasion so far. But we have neglected the sneak tree and we quite frankly also have neglected any form of uh, illusion which i will rectify this uh, episode so what we will uh, try to do is we're getting a bit deeper into apprentice illusion to get invisibility and a couple of other buffs so that is one perk already gone additionally we will need to have one perk in alchemy and that's potentially what I'm starting with because I notice that we could theoretically also craft invisibility potions if we want to do that but I definitely need alchemy for that so that's two perks gone just to kind of uh, set the baseline on top of that we then need to go into the sneak tree and I've really read up a bit more about sneaking we will need stealth, even though we are uh, a feline race. We will need Deft Strike, which allows us to ignore parts of the armor. And we will need Anatomic Lore. So actually sneaking will be the first uh, skill that we're getting to 50. That's three further levels. So we're already at level seven at this point. And then the build will start to be online. So. In order to do that, we need to kill a couple of bandits and be, yeah, just an agile fighter for now, but the sneaking will come sooner than later. So, off we go. All right, time for some solid bandit content for Greenwall. It is. We're not yet the stealthy assassin that can just move in, unfortunately. But we do have a few tricks up our sleeves. Given that we're fighting a lot of uh, archers, I might want to fortify health. Regaining stamina. Okay, they know where we are. Continuing to regain stamina via our beloved mountain flowers and we isolated this guy here. Okay, that was the easier part. We have a few more difficult ones. Um, our dagger is still poisoned. That's good. I would like to... Use a couple of special arrows here. They can already shoot at us, which is not good. So I'm trying to attack from this side. But they, that's two archers already. My hope was to isolate one of them.
could go through the cave. Ah. Rather would like to take these guys out. We're too slow with our bow movement, so I need to let them come. He's clever. Oh well, we got hit once. Yeah, we gotta run and regain stamina, uh, health, but also stamina. Got a few trees that would be blocking for us. Got him solid, but I should have just waited until his ammunition ran out. He's now out of ammunition. Chucking a lot of potions. This is uh, not the best cave for us, to be entirely honest. Or the best fortress for us. them down the last one is on the tower right over there Closer than I wanted it. But at least we got all of them down. Now I need to rest here for multiple reasons, uh, but one obviously is we need to regain health. them let me check okay we looted everything and I did a little bit of a detour around of the fort and looted all of uh, the blue mountain flowers that I could find 
was eating them because there is uh, no place to just sleep. Which means I needed to reach in the old-fashioned uh, way. But we're on our way into the fortress. God damn you. What is even happening? We're zoning in and the first thing that happens is we're being ambushed. Holy. All right. Careful here. I'll show you what a real or Bring it on. Poison ran off. That was the wrong potion. Okay, well. A bit closer than I would have anticipated and we also needed to drink almost all of our potions which again I did not anticipate we have one remarkable healing potion left over and one mountain flower well, that's pretty much as good as it gets spiders downstairs not sure if we want to fight them Here doesn't work against them. Against the smaller ones it does though, which is good. Uh, I think a perfect time to get some of the exploding arrows uh, out. their jumps and their poison. Okay, that worked very well. Now the big mama spider. Wrong arrows for it. I would like to have a bit stronger firepower here. Also poisoning the bow.
It seems uh, the spider forces us to go down. Really don't want to fight it in melee. Can't keep the bow up for long, so we are at the mercy of the spider kind of coming in and out. Fantastic. I think I need even stronger arrows. You can see just how durable that spider is. Like, that was an ebony arrow shock. Granted, we do not have any perks. But still, that's one of the strongest arrows in the entire game. Got one left. Continuing with Elven Arrows. The thing is almost down. Yep. It had a greater inside potion. That already tells you quite a bit about it. We could sleep down here and regain some more uh, stats. Okay, so far so good. Except we could sleep down here, but I don't think that's necessary. Can't open the adapt door. Let's take a look at our scrolls. I see shards, lightning bolts. Uh, I like the summoning of the wolf. That could turn out to be quite helpful. All right, this is going to be another one. Ooh. Good, time to be a bit creative here. Spells are gone. Now it's just us against her. It's hard, like really hard. But that luckily worked out.
And we got ourselves quite a bit of loot actually. Wait a second, these the merchant's hat was for better prices, right? Am I misremembering? No. It was not for better prices, it was just a merchant's hat. Cool, so I need to head back to the city and get new healing supplies. Matter of fact, for once, I would do some interim skills and see if we can level alchemy to 25. Cool, that uh, worked well. Um, next up, sneak would be our next choice, but before that, let's get one handed. Good, we had health. Uh, I think we're going with uh, stamina to increase stamina regeneration rate as well. Good, and I would want base alchemy. That allows us to brew a couple of potions as well as invisibility potions. So I'll be on a journey to collect some of the resources. The next few levels will go into sneak so that we can actually sneak. Uh, I want to get to anatomical lore. Those are four perks. So we need to kill quite a few, uh, quite a few bandits. Off we go. Now we do the collection of resources first. Good. Next stop for us is Boulder Fall Cave, a mage location. I'm hoping that with our stealth approach we can actually ambush the necromancer here. Carefully moving in. Whilst we're at it, uh, let's drink soon. Drink a uh, potion that gives us multi resist. Mages can be killed relatively fast if you ambush them. Good, in our case drink one of the po uh, potions and there we go two ebony arrows and we got ourselves a couple of uh, greater insight potions <laughs> plus a staff of fireball wonderful <clears throat> that'll go a long way Some of you might recognize uh, this cave here as the cave where Isaac started. Garlic is good, we'll take that. myself into toxicity that was not so clever good we'll try that again this time hopefully without toxicity yeah we have too many effects running the triple The triple resist potion makes it very hard to drink anything. That's the downside. Too much toxicity. I 
I will need to wait that one off. Okay, cool. So, we got a couple of spell tombs, which isn't bad. Scroll of Mass Paralysis. Alright. And even more importantly, a Staff of Fireball. Which will be our get out of jail card. As and when it's needed. Cool! That was a quick interlude. Let's go for the next cave. Off to another small location. It's uh, Riftwater Tower. Or Rift uh, Watchtower, rather. Three orcs in here, most of which should not be a problem. Told you, the dagger enemies are the worst. There's just no stopping them. Okay, that guy is down. The dagger one had only suboptimal equipment, so we're not even going to entertain that. And I want to see whether or not we can actually Vanish from sight with a potion of invisibility. The answer seems no. He knows that we're here, so might as well go in. Invisibility gives you a solid bonus. It's a solid bonus uh, against melee attacks. You have, I think, 15% resistance against all melee attacks. Oh, this guy is quite stationary. Necessarily what we need at the moment. You absolutely have to love that mini game surpassing so magic of potion that's actually a really 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 nice find unfortunately one that will not help us 
Elven bow, 22 damage. Orcs bow. Say, that's a heavy bow, right? Okay. As much as it pains me, I think that the Orcish Bow is actually the better choice here. Okay, it will be more impactful in case of a single initial hit. And this might be... nope, but we can't take that with us. On the other hand, the Orcish Bow is 12 pounds of weight. And here's the deal, we're not going to be a huge archer at the beginning. I'll tell you what, we'll keep the Elven Bow. Mainly because it is lighter. I know. Shocking concept. But you can't really beat the four uh, weight. And I want to be able to loot other stuff. Good. Quick level up. Starting with our stealth and off to the next dungeon. Time for Trevor's Watch, one of uh, the more difficult locations. Luckily, we got our little support crew down there. And did we just pull the camp? At least the poison on our bow is doing its job. Good, one down. We do have a secondary weapon for ranged combat. somewhere just retreat to heal up and may put a really nasty poison on it Still hearing arrows from somewhere. The bandit died. You. Well, we will fight you in the open, but not after I put you a very solid hit in your ugly head.
Alright. Let's do a fair fight, shall we? Alright, come on. He's definitely of a higher level than we are. We're regenerating. Let's soften him up a little bit. Me of my that Poison only partially seems uh, seems to be helping with him. Like he's taking almost no damage. He's beyond saving. He put himself in such a bad position. Elven Warhammer isn't bad, but uh, we're not into two-handed combat. There's definitely still an opponent somewhere. Yep, Archer. Close one. Good, so we got our friends over here who can sort of help us as and when needed. Are you here? Was expecting more though. You'd better be good. Good. Ice is but to invade my home. Kid, you ask a lot of questions. I wish. Good. Good luck. We're going to help him. And we're going to sleep. Drink, sleep. And that should be good enough. Repoison and off we go. I think we we might just be best off dragging all of the enemies outside like we're usually doing it. Or Where are you? or for once something worked out well. Fireball was nasty. Longbow, elven arrows, we're definitely taking those. Tomato soup. Yeah, we're doing that was a good start so maybe we do not need to get everybody outside
glass arrow. So that was just the start. There are definitely more enemies in here. Okay, so far so good. Disabling the traps. first sneak stealth kill backstab there we go time to assassinate Okay, that was easy. As a setup, it was one of uh, the easier ones. I think we're actually taking the potion of regeneration, all things considered. Because I know just how much damage we're going to take here. And having a constant good regeneration will help us a lot. Now to the difficult part. sure we got like multiples charge uh, fireball is out of charges that's unfortunate We were on the brink of zoning out to Skyrim. Used all of our charges uh, from the staff of fireballs. But overall it was worth it. Killed one, two, three.
couple of high quality arrows here and there. I mean, nothing to write home about, but okay. Very good. Good, before we can loot all of this, there is still a hard part of this dungeon. About six more enemies. See if we can actually assassinate someone. Two potential targets. I think we're going for the cook. What are you doing that for? Unfortunately, we have been spotted out. Well, could have been worse. Let's get the rest of uh, the dungeon cleaned up. Let's fight maybe with a little bit more room. moment that I tuck my head forward I know that we're going to get a big fat arrow on the face
Archers, still the bane of our existence. I nicely stepped onto the trigger plate and this guy is stuck behind the trigger plate interesting healing and a dwarven dagger nice that could be a solid upgrade for us it indeed is which means the steel uh, dagger has to go and we are using this here going forward while wielding. Let's forget about that. This is our setup. to get a bit of distance between us and him. Fucking trickster. Let's use resist magic here. Ice wind, okay. Spirit wolf. I think we're over overloaded. Okay, cool. Well, a full staff of ice wind is better than an empty staff of fireball that we can't recharge. And I think now the only uh, only thing left for us is to loot the entire place. There will be quite a bit. And I'll show you the highlights of the loot. There wasn't much highlight really. The highlight was that there was no highlight. A couple of spells. A little bit of an, an, a skill increase book. Oh yeah, and Boots of Frost. Not sure if we're ever going to do enchanting, but it never hurts having the enchantments available. I'll look for the rest. 
All right, we're outside. Finally freed uh, the camp. In terms of loot, got a couple of rings. We actually found decent healing potions, a remarkable and a few fair. Uh, we got a surpassing recuperation potion, which is good. And that's really it, like nothing to write home about. Mage Armor 3 might be something. That's not too bad. And a few spell tomes. Yeah? Thank you for your help. Oh, anyway, here is your reward. Thanks again. Good, another spell tome. We're actually pretty uh, well off, and Trevor's watch is clear, which means we can also start leveling up. One handed goes to twenty five. definitely would want sneak hmm before we go sneak 50 I would like to get illusion just up to 25 because yeah. the illusion skill determines how well anyone is affected and with zero or five skill it was no surprise that no one ever was affected. Some more health and we're going for sneak, death strike. Armor of the target is ignored. Next up we would like to get to anatomic lore and then hopefully another point in stealth here. So that way we would have the bases covered maybe even just going for muffled movement but sneaking two is and stealth two isn't bad either okay i'm off to uh, to sell a couple more items and then next up we're going to nilheim so a bit of an abrupt ending to a episode after finishing to re-get uh, the tower or the fort rather i figured we have already gone way over time past the one hour mark so although the gameplay that you will see in the next episode is still from the same session i simply pushed on too far and i don't want to release a two hour uh, video that's uh, very likely not going to be a successful one. So I'll do a shortcut here and we'll introduce uh, the next video. Anyways, if you enjoyed uh, the Bandit content so far, leave a robbery like uh, down below and maybe uh, this video will steal some attention. Enough punchlines. Thank you and have a good one. Bye bye.